Wagwan, 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 my babes. It's your girl Sasha K here. Yes, we are back with a new and improved video, okay? This one is not a makeup tutorial, but this is about makeup. I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned that, you know, have helped me to slay this face to all the gods, okay? I'll be letting you guys in on some of the tips and tricks. Now, if you have been watching my videos, then some of these you already know, but I just wanted to do a video dedicated to makeup tips and tricks. So, yeah, let's get into it. And honestly, I'm not a pro, but these are tips and tricks that I've learned, you know, over the years of doing my makeup and watching so much other pros do it, right? So, yeah, if you guys want to hear a couple tips and tricks, some tricks turn some tricks if y'all want to be turning tricks out there yeah please stick around and keep watching okay so tip number one you know the whole cleaning up of your brows that's what we're gonna start with I would do my brows and then to clean up the top of my brows I use my foundation I don't use the same concealer that I use to clean up under because it's a shade or two lighter than my skin tone and you don't want to be walking around you know with your face all done but you got that white cast you ever seen them girls with the you know the white cast all looking weird over here yeah we don't want that so so that is my tip number one whenever you're cleaning up your brows the above portion especially make sure you use a foundation or a concealer that is skin tone okay so tip number two I tend to outline and clean up the bottom of my brows first do all my foundation routine and then I outline the top of my brows and fill it in yeah it just looks nice and fresh doing it that way as opposed to you know doing my entire brows and then when I put it on my foundation I might mess it up if you want your brows to look nice and fresh and popping and you don't have to go back over it you know then you want to just do the bottom part first and then after you've applied your foundation concealer and all that jazz then you do the top portion and fill it in you know afterwards okay so tip number three whenever I'm doing my lower lashes which I usually always do so whenever I'm doing my lower lashes I tend to apply mascara onto mascara how do you say that I I feel like I mispronounce it all the time mascara anyways as you guys will see in the video that I insert here whenever I'm applying my mascara I tend to do one eye first and then I do the other one now while I'm doing this one this one is getting semi dry so before it completely dries I switch back to this one and I apply my second coat of mascara. That way the one has something to stick onto. You apply more product, I feel like, so your lashes will look a little bit more full and a little bit more glamorous. That's in my opinion, right? So that's where I let it get semi-tacky, then I apply a second coat, then I switch back to the other eye and I finish it off. And I try my very hardest not to touch my skin whenever I'm applying mascara into my lower lashes. It looks a lot cleaner and just tidier. I mean, if you're wearing a, you know, real dramatic smoky eye or whatever, then it's not such a big deal if you touch your skin when you're applying your mascara because really and truly you're not really seeing it that, that much. But for a look like this where it's, you know, it's lighter shade, you do want to go ahead and, you know, avoid touching your skin. It looks better in my opinion. So tip number four is going to be nose contour. Is my nose snatched or what? Did she snatch? For my nose contour, I usually create the skinniest line ever down the bridge of my nose whenever I'm applying my concealer and so that when you buff it out, you know, it doesn't spread too wide. And then also, when I'm applying my concealer under my eyes, I tend to bring it up onto the side of my nose, not all the way meeting the concealer that I've buffed out up here, just up enough so that there's that, that gap in between your concealer that you applied on your nose and the concealer that's on the side of your nose. So that gap creates like a natural um, nose contour for me. And then if it looks too harsh, I use the bottom of my beauty blender to blend it all out. You guys will see it in the video. Also continuing with my nose contour, I like to set it the same way. I create the skinniest line down the bridge of my nose and I tend to let that sit there for, you know, five minutes. I tend to bake my nose, if you will. Dust off the baking, I usually use the same brush that I used to apply my bronzer to dust it all off. Then I use the bronzer to kind of make it a little bit more defined. Now the bronzer that I do have, it's, it's nice and matte. It doesn't have any shimmer at all in it. Otherwise, I, my nose will be too shiny. We can't have all that. And then at the very end, I use the Morphe E36 brush when I'm doing this. I create the skinniest highlight line and the cutest little button nose. And then you want to use your finger to kind of tap it out. You don't want any harsh line. That's what I do. If you keep it all skinny here, then your nose will look smaller. I promise you. <laughs> So tip number five is going to be how to rock a bold 
lipstick. Now I do bold because what's bold for me might not be bold for you. If you have dark complexion like I do, you know. <laughs> yes, dark girl, represent. Yeah, if you have a dark complexion and you want to apply, you know, a brighter lipstick like what I'm wearing right now. So what I did, I used a skin tone lip liner my MAC cork, y'all know I love it. I outline my lip, and when I'm outlining my lip, you guys will see in the video that I kind of bring it onto my lip a little bit. I don't just create a line here and a line here. I bring it onto my lips a little bit, kind of bring my lips inwards. And when I'm applying the lipstick, I literally keep the focus on the center of my lips, kiss it together, and then I always top it off with a lip gloss. That's how I make like a brighter lipstick work for me. I use the lip gloss to apply to the, t the center of my lips and then I kind of, you know, make sure there's no harsh line. And I don't, you guys will see the video. Like I think it turned out pretty cute, right? That lipstick, had I put it all over my lips, like I would have sat right here and look all sorts of crazy. Every level of crazy, okay? So yeah, this is me toning it down and making it wearable for me. So yeah, that is tip number five. So I think this is gonna be the final tip, tip number six. If you guys watch my videos, then you already know this one. Set and spray. Whenever I'm applying set and spray, I do not do the whole, you know, spraying all over. I don't know, your face gets really wet. If, you're, if you've done a matte eye look, then it will, you know, wet your matte eye look. I'm not trying to have all that, you know, it just goes all over the place. Sometimes it's patchy because, you know, some places get wet and some and the others don't. So what I do is I spray it on my beauty blender, as you guys will see in the video, I spray it on my beauty blender and then I apply it onto my face. Now when I'm applying it onto my face, I avoid the highlighted areas, right? Because if you've, especially if you've already applied highlight, then avoid the highlighted areas. That way you're not spreading all that shine all over your face. Right? And at the very end, that's when I apply to the highlighted area. I guess this is a tip within a tip. Just before this area right here gets completely dry, you can go ahead and apply your highlight to get it even more bling, all up in your face, okay? So if you want it to be more shiny and more bright, more bold, then yeah, you can wait for this to get semi-dry and then you apply your highlight. So yeah, that is all the tip that I have for today. Let me know if you guys like this video. Like, genuinely let me know. Drop me a comment. Also, let me know what tips you guys have that been working out for you. Maybe I can incorporate some of them into my, you know, routine. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this was super helpful. I hope it helped. I, I hope you picked up at least one thing that you're like, oh, oh, I didn't know that. I'm gonna try that and see how it works out for me. Try it, girl. Come back. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it works out for you. And again, if you have any tips and tricks, go ahead. Leave them in the comment section. And yeah, I appreciate it, y'all. Don't forget to give this video, you know, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to you, girl, and come back for more. Keep coming for more. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Lick a warm and peeps. Lick a more. Okay, time to go slay this photo shoot.